Now, now, when you first, you know, became an artist, I know a lot of people thought you were going to rap at first exactly. because of your lineage. Yeah. You know, easy. You know, your mm -hmm. father, rest in peace, Thank legendary you. pioneer, West Coast king. Aww. Let's just put it that way, right? Facts. And I would imagine, like, like, like a uh, little easy. Uh, people uh -oh. expected you to come out to rap. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I didn't know if there was anything there, but I'm saying the expectation of people, like when, when, uh, you know offspring of artists come out and they want to be artists they usually expect them to follow in the footsteps but you're doing something completely different here well that's because of a lot of celebrity children tend to to me that's the easy route you know right. what i mean to right. that just be what people are used to right and that to me that's actually a problem you know because you have no self identity you know, that's a big thing for me. And I think it's been a lot of my struggle too, being in the music business, um, you know, as the child of someone so iconic, especially, you know, if, if he was like small time, it might probably be a little easier, but right. when you're when somebody, he's such a staple, right. you know, that is hard to, you know, step out of that shadow. And for me, because I would say when I was younger, you know, it's been a long time of people understanding who Eby is, but, when I was younger, of course, you know, naturally, you know, you're like Easy es daughter, you have this image, you know, but I have to tell people, I'm like, listen, technically, you know, I didn't grow up in Compton. I'm not a guy. Um, you know, I, I grew up around different music, you know, being from Calabasas, like I grew up on Britney Spears and Gwen Stefani yeah. and all these things and <laughs> pop music and pop music, you yeah. know, and, and honestly, I hip hop is my roots regard even outside of my father. You know, my right. mom was a music manager for almost 30 years now. And, you know, even after my father's passing, I still was connected to a lot of people in the industry and I still grew up around it. But I think I've always had a sense of self. And I, I right. think that's something I have in common with my father. I have a lot of things in common with him, just not the image. You know, yeah. I don't you know, I don't wear the Compton hat and the glasses and do right. the, the rapping. But I do think that I have the intelligence of my father, the charisma, the vision. I would say being a visionary is something um, that definitely sets us apart. Um, but I do think in a, a lot of instances being his child has worked against me you know and a lot of things that I'm trying to do but yeah. you know it's it's very bittersweet right yeah it's I, I think it's harder work for for yes you know y'all in in that position because the level of, of expectation on you know okay what what's she gonna do yeah he or she what is he or she gonna do yeah um and and again if like you said if if your, your father was like a, a lesser known artist mm -hmm. or whatever and didn't reach the 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 success that he had yeah it would probably be easier to break through but like yeah you gotta you gotta prove yourself and and be your own person yeah. at the same time and you know be you and yeah. and not like necessarily follow the footsteps you could still hold up the name with with walking your own path yeah and i, I think that's absolutely. dope that you're doing that because it's it's real easy to lean on it Oh, thank you yeah, yeah. I, you know for me like and i grew up around a lot of other celebrity children and you know, I think I've always just kind of been outside of the box. I, I guess I got it honest, you know, but, you know, even for me going to school with some of them and I look at them and, you know, their dreams would literally be doing the exact same thing. And it just it, it didn't feel authentic to me. And, you know, I, I've noticed a lot of people don't really even get that far even doing it. Like, yeah. you know, and now we have social media. So, yeah, you get a lot of attention from it. But like real genuine success and again and in your own right that's something really important to me um so yeah i just i stay my course and you know do my thing yeah you know and i think a lot of a lot of those um kids from those artists that you see you know it might not be that passion for them they might be uh their passion might be in something else but you think you have to yeah, Live up I'm like go play this. go play football. Yeah, go uh, be a doctor. Yeah, so be a lawyer. you can be the, the best lawyer in the world, and they're like, oh, that's easy, easy kid. That's yeah. that big time attorney. Like you know, yeah. it could be anything. You yeah, because it does be great. Yeah, because the it, the name doesn't guarantee a win. Exactly, you got to put the work behind that. I and think what you guys said is true. It makes it harder. Yeah, yeah. people expect sure. way more. You know, it's and, better. And it, it's like that in a couple different situations where people like, let's say you're a celebrity and mm -hmm. you want to open a weed brand. Let me tell you something. You better have the best weed, the right price, because people instantly, and we go, oh, he's a celebrity. He's just trying to do this. Right. They're going to critique you 10 times harder than if it was C-minus who started. Yeah, I mean, Bobo could <laughs> totally relate to this. I mean, because, you know, his father was a, a right, musician, legendary Latin jazz oh, sure. percussionist. Oh, wow. 
Oh yeah. It's and, better to like forge your own path and then have the uh your your father or your mother be like the you know, the cherry on top. Oh, like you were saying, oh, that's easy daughter, you know, yeah. or whatever. But badass lawyer, whatever, you know, you have to forge your own right. path to really get, you know, that stigma off of you because mm -hmm. the expectations are crazy high, especially yeah. if you're coming from such a uh, iconic lineage. Yeah. 